Mm, the hang drums are really cool, by the way. TV schmoople. I will actually do the yoga, especially because I want to drink my coffee while it's still hot. This thing is just like impossible to pass up. Ellie, you deserve that fucking coffee. <laughs> gallery that I haven't seen in a while. Oh, cool. I saw the coloring books that all that figurines that I had. Oh, that made me feel a little emotional. That's my little piggy and I love him so much and he's an old boy and I don't know how much longer we have with him. Stay, okay? This is not for you. I even moved your bed so that you would leave me alone. You and your brother. Ugh. Ellie, you're so talented. I love that. That's my baby. What a baby. Oh, he's in the other room being a sleepy baby. Okay, so today we do yoga for concentration and focus. Mm. 
No need to apologize, scholar. Happy to see you when I see you. Okay. We're about to start. We're going to get our yoga out of the way so I can sit back and enjoy my coffee. <laughs> and by when I say get our yoga out of the way, of course, I mean I'm delighted and very grateful to have this opportunity to do yoga on stream with you, following along with the Yoga with Adrian videos. We're doing her Reunite um, Yoga with Adrian August 2019 playlist. And we are on the video called Yoga for Concentration, and I think it says Mental Focus. What up, Inked Up? No, I thought that was Thursday. Yeah, that's Thursday, bro. Tomorrow is Yoga to Gain Perspective. Okay. Okay, all right, we're good. We're ready for this. We are people who do yoga five days a week. What's up, everyone, and welcome to yoga. Let's see. Today is Tuesday, Shmoopal. Yes, yes, it is. Um, you can mostly see her stuff, hopefully. Hold on, I'm waiting for it to show up on my view. I think you're only going to see... Oh, no, you can see her. Yay! So I don't have, like, the full TV showing, but I think we're good. Adrian, I... Wait, does anyone else need us to wait a second so that you can get your mat out and get ready? <laughs> the look on her face right now. She's like, I am Adrian. Mm. You're gonna wanna be my best friend, baby. Mm. Mm. Actually, mm. I'm gonna grab my allergy medicine really quick. You just stay there, you little pup. Just got nothing to do with you. Mm. Good morning, Lore Master. Oh. Okay. Since no one has said that they need me to wait, we are going. I'm Adrian, and today we have a sequence for concentration and mental focus. That's what's up. This is really great when you're needing to hunker down on a project that you're feeling old in a lot of different directions. This is really great when you feel a little uneasy, you might need a little confidence boost. Can you hear her? A little feeling of, oh, I got this. This is going to be an awesome practice for you. Please share it with people you think might benefit from it. I feel like Everyone. this is a good one that we can pass around as a little act of love. Hop into something comfy, and let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. All right, my friends, let's begin lying down. Yay. Deal. Don't oh, worry, we'll get up. Oh, let's okay. start by emptying our cup so that we can fill it mindfully. So you're going to just come to a nice flat back position and just allow all your beans to spill. <laughs> beans. <laughs> she and left the weight of your body to relax. So even if you're a little concerned that you will get too tired, maybe you're already feeling a little sluggish or weird. <sighs> Even if you're worried that you're going to get too tired and not be able to do the stay up, trust stay. me, trust yourself, trust the practice, and go ahead and keyword, just allow yourself to be heavy, allow. I'm guessing if you chose this video or you decided to say yes to this video, that you could use a little rejuvenation and a little guidance in toward things that matter. I can't assume, of course, but just a little part of me believes that you could benefit from some focus, some centering. So in order to do that, go ahead and close your eyes and just allow everything to spill to empty. 
And this might be a little bit difficult if you're on the go or you're worried about time, but just trust that this is valuable, productive, I would say necessary, but that's not just one girl. <laughs> necessary time that will actually make whatever it else you have to do. She is nice. so damn charming. Just Rob like endearing. Mm -hmm. Grace and focus. So close thine eyes if you haven't already. Just start to notice your breath and allow your exhales to be a little invitation to just relax. And as you're ready, we'll just start to rock the head gently a little side to side, ear to ear. And yes, this is a lovely little massage for the back of the head, and absolutely we start to stretch through the neck. But this is also a little signal to the brain that we're slowing down. So if you're like me, anything like me, you might have started this rocking sensation really fast, you know, it's really hard to slow down. So see if you can slow it down even more. Just again, this little way of signaling the brain. Okay, okay, okay. And nothing fancy here, it's a big full body stretch. You can keep the eyes closed or you can start to open them. We're going to send the fingertips all the way up and overhead. Spread the fingers, spread the toes. Take a deep breath mm. in. And go sleep now. Long breath out. Mm. Walk your heels in line with your hips. Start to point and flex through the feet and you'll feel your shoulders pressing firmly down into the earth, excuse me, your shoulder blades, firmly pressing down into the earth. Take one more big stretch, and then exhale, float just the hands, the arms down, and you'll use your hands to press down into the earth, and hug one knee up into the chest, and then the other. Your intuition is probably right here, so give yourself a big old hug. Feel that stretch through the lower back body. Oh, it does really feel good. Walk or crawl your shoulder blades down towards the bottom edge of your Good morning, 42. Like bear massaging its back on a tree. And then just notice where you're gripping. By one love. Gripping here, either in the mouth or mm -hmm. ankles. Sometimes we grip it in the weirdest places. <laughs> Am I right? So even if you can't find it, just do a little body scan and start to relax again just kind of emptying the cup so we can fill it with things that feel good and that support and help focus us we've all been there get distracted and you go down a rabbit hole the mind starts to take over and you get really lost and sometimes it can be really harmful so we'll use this practice today to get back on track whatever it is you're up to in your beautiful life Okay, we're gonna open the knees and reach the fingertips to the feet. Grab the outer edges of the feet. If you cannot grab the outer edges of the feet, who cares? You're gonna grab the shins. We're just gonna open up through the knees here, start to open up through the hips. So we're here, or we're here on the ankles. Oh, this feels great. And if you can't get there, then maybe palms gently come to the front of the shin and the knee. Good boy, Anson. We're mm. starting here because this is a great one where you can tell right away if you're gripping or holding. Just let it all open out, <laughs> literally. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> nice. You can start to find a soft, easy movement here. Obviously, we're starting nice and slow today, so just use this time to settle down. And then as you're ready, we'll slowly release the arms wherever they are, bring the knees back in. And we're gonna slowly inhale in, exhale, squeeze, shins in towards the body, and slowly peel, head, heart, and shoulders up. The nose can come towards the knees, but it doesn't have to touch. Breathing deep here, keeping the shoulders relaxed, the neck relaxed. One more breath, and then slowly release. Awesome, slide the hands to the backs of the thighs. You're gonna rock up and down the length of your spine. We're starting to get a little energy going, so just be mindful here. You can do it a couple times. 
but you're actually going to rock all the way to your feet on this one. And this is a very humbling move. It can be very fun. It's also a nice little core activator. So as you're ready, you'll come to a little toe stretch here, a little foot stretch. Fingertips are on the earth. We start to really wake up the feet. Ankles, Achilles, calves. What a good And then you're going to inhale, look forward once you get there. This is like a little ninja stand. I dress like a ninja today for the focus and the focus and the concentration of Appropriate. So inhale. Really think about opening the chest. Think cobra here. And then exhale. Chin to chest, rounding through in cat pose. You should feel a nice stretch. Maybe the palms come to the earth. And one more time, inhale, open. Think cobra. A little bit of energy as you squeeze these together. And then exhale, round, chin to chest. Then keep this chin to chest. You're going to slowly drop the heels and roll all the way up to your mountain pose. Take your time. Move as slow as you can. Wait, which is not Mm -hmm. and stand up nice and tall when you get there. Really feel your feet pressing into the ground. And feel the blood flow. I am not much of energy. You're going to open your palms. Really open, open, open up, open up through the chest here. And then you're not too close today. God, what's it feel like to keep plants alive? Take nice, smooth, deep breaths. Literally imagine your breath just... Imagine your breath is love, like you're inhaling love and you're exhaling love. So it's an active connection of like your breath is your spirit. That's an effective meditation mantra too. I breathe in love, I breathe out love. Sleep. You keep breathing. So honor the breath by really inhaling lots of love in. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Big stretch here, just like we did on the ground. Then exhale, right arm's going to come underneath the left, or eagle arms, or garlandasana arms. If the palms don't come together, no matter. Just take a nice stance here. We're working on opening up through the chest and the shoulders evenly, so you don't want to allow your chest to collapse here. Lift the chest up. Inhale, maybe lift the elbows up. And then exhale, experiment, finger oh, to the forward. Good. Again, inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, fingertips forward. Beautiful. Now lift the chin slightly. Take the deepest breath you take it all day. Careful, no pressure in the lower back here. So a little connection to your belly. Mm. And then exhale, on an exhale, all the way down. Bend the knees nice and slow. Strong, steady focus on the breath here. So nice, long breath. And then the arms are going to unravel at the last moment, and we're back in our forward fold. Awesome. Inhale, lifts you up halfway. Nice flat back position. And exhale to fold. Awesome. Inhale, reach for the sky. Root to rise here. Really spread your fingertips. And this time, left arm underneath the right as you breathe out. Find your eagles. You breathe in, press into the feet. Lift the elbows up. Man, this feels cool. And then maybe fingertips forward. Continue to breathe. In your own time, lift the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Draw the navel in just a bit. Support your back. And inhale. One more time this time. Maybe lift the chin. And then bend the knees and cascading down with your breath. Nice and slow. Arms and rattle at the last moment. Awesome. Inhale. Halfway lift. Slow and steady as the course, and then exhale, release. Beautiful. Bend both knees generously. Belly comes to the tops of the thighs. You might walk your feet together a little bit here. We're going to send the hips back, 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 and the fingertips forward. Big stretch here. <laughs> send the hips back, so big stretch in the side body. So think length. So immediately our minds go to, I can't, chair pose sucks, the love. Just think about creating length in your side body, your front body, and your back body here. It's okay if the knees come a little bit forward, but send the weight back in your hips. Breathing deep, and once again, protect the back, your lower back in particular, by drawing the navel in. And then this pose requires you to focus, bring your attention to your breath. Imagine you're carrying a baby while you're inhaling. 
And then exhale, right arm underneath the left. You go arms, inhale, lift the elbows up. And then exhale, let everything go. Oh yeah, take a moment here to hang, or shake it off. Breathing in, lots of love, breathing out with consciousness. Sweet, inhale, halfway lift, big breath. Nice, refreshing exhale as you fold. Bend the knees, belly comes to the tops of the thighs. Send the weight back into your hips. And strong focus here as you send the fingertips forward. So you start to pop up. I'll find support from within, you got this, check it out. It's always fun to repeat things. I love to work with the same vocabulary a lot, yeah, a lot of times that you can find new ways of negotiating, not just the physicality, but your emotional intelligence, oh, that's why it's your nice mental now. focus. Here we go, left arm underneath the right. Inhale, lift the elbows up, eagle arms, maybe you sink a little lower here, you got this. Breathe in, smile, and then exhale, and release it down. Inhale in, audible exhale as you breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice, long, beautiful neck here. And then exhale to full. Amazing, bend the knees. Step the left foot back, just the left foot. Right foot stays in the front. Mm -hmm. Come to a nice low lunge here. You can lower the back knee. Mm -hmm. And then left hand's gonna come to the earth. And we're gonna slowly peel the right fingertips up towards the sky. Just a nice, gentle twist here. Front knee over, front ankle, over the chest. Breathe deep. Awesome, then you're gonna take the right hand in next to the right arch, and you're gonna swing the left toes oh, wait, around. I'm doing this one. Take your time. Again, this, this requires some, some focus, some anchoring of breath and mind, so take your time. And we'll just open up through the left fingertips over here. If this is too much, you can come onto the fingertips or right elbow. Mm -hmm. On the right thigh, breathe in. Oh, that feels great. Breathe out. Breathe in again, stretch, expand, you're awesome. And then use your breath out to come back all the way nice and Oh Great. my goodness. Inhale, look forward. If you want, you can curl back to the knee with that back knee. If you're not feeling that today, keep it nice and low. Beautiful. Inhale, in. Exhale, plant the palms. Step the right toes back. Strong plank pose. We're only here for five, four. Enjoy it. Try three, two. Listen to the sound of your breath and slowly lower all the way to your belly on the one. You can lower the knees. Nice and easy here. Inhale, cobra to lift up. And exhale, release. Power up, no. plank pose. Inhale, press up, lift up. Strong, steady. Five, four, find soft, easy movement here that feels good. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Downward facing dog. Take your time. Pedal it out. Stay present, try to stick with the sensation, what's going on in this moment. Oh, and now this moment. What are you doing, Tosh? Oh, and now press into your fingertips in this moment. Beautiful, then we'll inhale, look forward. And exhale, step the right foot up, step the left foot up. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, hold. Inhale, deeply through the nose. And exhale, side out with sound. Mm. Awesome, bend the knees, step the right foot back, just the right foot. Front knee over, front ankle, lower the right knee to the ground. Ah, relish the stretch, the sensation. Beautiful, and then right hand will come to the earth, and we'll slowly, so there's a little energy in the pelvic floor, cinch up through there, a little scissor effect. Hey, what are you doing? Lift the left fingertips up towards the sky. And see if you can rotate your right shoulder around to create more space. Nice and mindful adjustments here. Don't breathe deep as you inhale. Smile, breathe in your belly. And then exhale, bring it all the way down. Ah, feel the blood flow, the energy flush. Ah, pay attention. Left hand comes in line with the arch of the left foot. And listen carefully, here we go. No. Right knee essentially stays where it's at. We're just swing the right toes all the way around. Come into a half warrior here, and right fingertips reach all the way up. You can also bring that. What do you do? Up. If you have a block, you can put it down. 
Are you doing Inhale, it? Find expansion. Are you a yogi? Exhale. You're such a good Inhale, boy. Thank you. Expand. Okay. More sit. Space. Sit. Exhale. Down, down please. Down. Awesome. <laughs> down. Here we go. Framing the foot now with your hands again. Loop the shoulders. Inhale. Let the heart radiate forward. Sneaky little shit. <laughs> your heart, keep your heart lifted as you exhale, release with control. Bring the palms together, feet together. Inhale. And exhale, side up. Awesome. Walk the feet just a little bit wider and then hip width apart. Turn the toes out. Inhale and then reach for the sky. And exhale as if you're painting a wall, you're gonna bend your knee and you're just gonna paint the wall forward. Like a little Tai Chi move here. She's gonna go about halfway down, and you're gonna inhale, rise up, thrill her arms. <laughs> and exhale down, halfway, just checking it out. Knees are going, tracing right over the, the toes here, and then rise up. Oh, I slammed on my mat somehow. Take a good breath, inhale. All 
All right, and now taking it all the way down on an exhale, listen to your breath, find that Ujjayi. Wiggling, press into the outer edges of the feet, press into the outer edges of the feet, and now here we are in our yogi squat. Awesome, take a deep breath. Don't poop that in though. Relax the shoulder as you do. You are antsy. Press the palms together. And then really today, activate, press the arms against your legs and squeeze the legs against your arms. If you're having to bring your hands to the ground for stability here, power to you. Find the modification. Be mindful and focus on the sound of your breath here in the last moment. Get your center down low and feel the heat, the warmth that you've created. here to just tap into a little gratitude, appreciate your body, just kind of admire and appreciate yourself and this time you're taking for yourself. It's so valuable, so important. I wish you the best. Focus on the things that serve you. You got this. Whatever task is at hand, you got it. You quietly whisper to yourself, I got this. You got this. Tuck the chin slightly. Feel that length in the back of the neck. Inhale in. And exhale. Take everything all the way down. We bow forward. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Namaste. What are you all wanting? The headstand thing? Yeah. 
Why did it look so easy? How dare? JJ, my balance is impressive. Oh, thank you. That whole time I was like, man, my balance is trash. Dude, my I think I showed you yesterday or recently how bad my ankles pronate. It is really hard to do some of that stuff. break your butt trying to do some of this stuff? Dude, some of it is mad challenging for sure. That headstand thing is definitely not, uh, not something I'm able to do just yet. The doggo needs a cure for the itch? Bruh, if this mofo would let me into his ears without acting like everything was gonna blow up. His ear, one of his ears, his right ear, he was just scratching it, is like mildly inflamed. I have ear cleaner, I have stuff that could help it, but as soon as I touch, touch his ear, like very gently, he's like, freaks out and then starts doing laps around the house. Bruh, come on. Hey, why do you have to be gross? Get out of your butthole. Oh, you're pigeon toed, I got pronation. We're all messed up. Oh, the one leg balancing? I didn't fall out of it, but yeah, that was really challenging because I was focusing really hard. Raise your ankle, raise your ankle. And then as soon as I started like, okay, I think I think I can reach for the ceiling. I think I can close my eyes. I lost focus on my ankle and it was just like, it wanted to drop me. But that one leg thing, I do that often just to stretch out my legs. I pull the one leg up and then just kind of push it forward, and it helps with my hips a lot since I spend so much time sitting, you know? Uh, yes, Delta Cucumber, yes. JJ, any big wins lately? Give him doggy sleeping aid, then clean. Hey, come on, man. Enzo, you know, no. Hey, hey, do you want me to fix your ear? Do you want me to fix it? <laughs> Honestly, we're gonna have to. It sucks because we're out of our CBD and Nature's Ultra apparently does not have any more of the pet stuff. Yeah, the closing eyes thing is sketch. <laughs> Even just standing, like if you were to stand up right now, put your feet together and hold your hands like this and then close your eyes, I don't know very many people who can do that comfortably without getting a little weird and wobbly. And that's like just standing, you know? <laughs> like, we should be pros at this shit by now. Many, many moons ago. So I was using Nature's Ultra, um, but I, I gotta find something else if they're not gonna, I don't know if they're gonna stock it again. I don't know if, what their plans are with that, if they're changing the products, I gotta figure it out. Cause it was out the last time I saw it. Oh, yo, it's back. All right, that's what's up. Okay, good. Ooh, I was really nervous. Good, because this shit helps my dog so much. All right, who's got 90 doll hairs so that I can get the 400 for my pups? 
JK, I'll order this shit later. Good, I'm so glad about that. <laughs> what up, Chodenheim? How you doing? Oh, yeah, hit me up, Roslyn, for sure. You turned, you tuned in and heard CBD and butt stuff. Sounds about right. Nice, Duple, nice. Oh, I was talking about you with my little sister, about how far you've come and how great it is. It was a nice conversation. I was like, I'm just, it makes me so happy how many of my friends, like, are just killing it lately. And yeah, you're definitely one of them. What up, Big Daddy? Sounds like a tame snap stream, right? <laughs> Hope you had a nice stream yesterday, Chotenheim. Stay out of the garbage, Enzo. I'll eat your face off. Mm. Oh, coffee. Yes, please. Oh. oh, I'm so glad that Cupickle's still sleeping right now. I really wanted to stretch out a little bit more. Thank you for all of your help. I'm a person with good time management skills, people. Did you know that? And my friends support me. Where'd you move, Jodenheim? <laughs> Your fucking name. So I found you yesterday. Um, I didn't know that we had a lot of mutual friends. I found you yesterday when I was just looking for someone new to host. And I liked your profile. You know, I'm all about positivity myself. And then, like, positivity paired with a name that has no, no, that's all. Positivity paired with a name that has chode in it. Like you were meant to be our friend. Exactology, hi. Bye, Duple, I love you, you're great. Big Daddy, what's in store for you for today? Where your fiance lives. Ooh. Getting married. Gonna get to do sex. That's exciting. Oh, hey, what's up, fiance? You're gonna get to do sex. That's what's up. <laughs> we don't have sinners in here, right? Y'all aren't holding hands in the dark yet. Ugh. Oh, man. Your names definitely look super familiar. JJ, what's the latest big win? Just high-fiving before sunset? Wow, what a hoe, oh my goodness. I don't know if we can hang out. This is, this is a pretty, um, pretty tame stream. I don't know if we're ready for that kind of sauciness, especially at this, getting that saucy at 7 a.m., come on. No, that's actually my, my front yard. Positive mental attitude and self-improvement. That's what's up. Hey, get off my mat, motherfucker. Watch him try and curl up in this <laughs> tiny corner. Hey, freight train. Ooh, sorry, friend. That's good, though. That's good. And we like to troll, too, if you, if you haven't picked up on that. No, no slobbing on your knob while you're here, please. Oh man, this feels so fucking good on my hip. Lots of medium small caches. Still, I'm sure you're killing it. I'm sure you're just being super dad, super poker player. Oh man. When do you two get married? Thank you, Rosalyn. I just saw the do you sent. Okay, so now, Schmenzo, you're kind of in my way. We're just gonna have to stretch this way. <laughs> Don't lick my foot. <laughs> Stop it, that tickles. 
This is what happens when we share a yoga mat, huh? Oh no, it's doing the thing again where it's not updating my chat. Sarah Daniels, something about Chicago meetup. Oh, you got engaged at Guardian Con? That's exciting. Thanks, Rosalind. Dude, my chat? Fucking Twitch? What do you call it? Mobile is doo doo butts. I'm trying to catch up. Next October, the wedding. And then you get to do the sex. Come on, you frickin' frick. Okay, come on. Why? I might have to restart my app even. I saw, Freight, that you were saying private thing out back by the golf course. Ooh. Ooh. That's really cool. Congrats, though. I feel like so many people are getting engaged right now, and it makes me very much happy. So frustrating. Okay, listen, no one say anything. I have to restart this shit. Motherfuck, my chat is frozen. There we go. Sarah said she wants to do a Chicago meetup? Yes, bitch, yes. Dude, there's already one planned for um, December if she wants to come and enjoy some fucking winter. Yeah, you gotta wait until October for the sexy time. Otherwise, you could get park in that. Start high-fiving in the dark and stuff. Come on, you're, you're supposed to be like a positive streamer. You can't be, you can't be spreading Spreading that kind of, you know, sinning ideas. Wow, I can't words. Okay, I think we fixed it. Fix your hack, Twitch. Hack. Yeah, thank you, Freight. Dude, tell tell Sarah, actually, if you talk to her before I talk to her, because I will text her her punk ass, I would gladly help her organize a Chicago meetup. I have a great location at an amazing, not Chicago style, but really good pizza place that has always been really great to us. <laughs> oh, I'm Chodenheim. Listen, listen, we're about to take this up to rated R, even though um, it's still early. Dudes, so we're, we're all joking. It's all good fun to pretend that people aren't, you know, before marriage. Um, my, when I was growing up, I knew some people that were like ultra extreme religious. They were definitely not having sex before marriage. A lot of people in their families were not even kissing until marriage. <laughs> this particular couple, they didn't want to wait completely, but they also didn't want to make, you know, make God upset. And this isn't to mock like religion or anything like that, but it was just a very funny thing. So they came to the conclusion that the best way to almost sex without sexing was for him to bang her thighs. Like, just putting them together. <laughs> Am I body hair positive? I mean, I don't like it on myself personally, but yeah, like, whatever the fuck you want to do with your body and your life. I do yoga follow-along streams, Exactology, so um, I asked the Yoga with Adrienne team if I could do her videos on stream and they gave me permission. So we're just working through a series together. I'm not like proficient. If you watched it all, you could see that. <laughs> but we're only six videos in, seven videos in if you wanna join us. Yes, it would be great for a train. And the place that I like to go to makes a great old fashioned. Oh damn, Bungles. <laughs> Shh, buddy, that is like a stump. No, that's literally a stump on TV. 
Okay, see, look, it's just a leaf now. Do you not like the leaf either? Mm. Bruh, this is why I'll never be president. <laughs> Drizness, it is smart and it's hilarious. What was the hand gesture I just did? Oh, so this is, you know, like... <laughs> just covering all the bases. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to join us, please do, because it's so nice to be able to start our mornings off with this. And like, so after the stream ends in like 45 minutes, <laughs> hey, come here, dude, those are plants and shit, bruh. <laughs> You're really ferocious. Look, he's got his little prickers up. You're all prickered up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't bark at those. You don't even know what you're barking at. Shut up. Um, please join us, though. Oh, what I was saying, though. So, I, because, like, obviously a lot of the community is from the West Coast, too, and all over the world, um, as soon as I shut down stream a little bit after 8 today, I immediately highlight and rebroadcast, and then I'm usually in my office near chat. So, if you want to follow along later in the day, you still have that option, and I try to keep an eye on chat. Otherwise, I've been highlighting them, so people have been going back in and doing them, like, as their homework. A BJ is technically not intercourse, problem solved. Because it was considered oral sex, which it is, um, that was off, off the limits. So, um... No, I don't think I don't think they were cool. No, I think handies were okay, which is such a bummer. Um, so I'm pretty sure handies were okay. The banging of the thighs was okay, but that was like it. Oh, thanks, Miley. Thanks. That was that was great. Exactly, like an OTPHJ. That's cool. What classes are you taking, and what do you teach? Miley, it's way too early for you to be up and trying to sass me. We've got sassy moms this morning, right? Miley shouldn't even be awake. Miley should be all snuggled up with a teddy bear. And that's not hating on teddy bears. I love my teddy bear. I sleep with it all the time. Mm. Oh yeah, that that had nothing to do with you this time, freight train. It's just it's just a, a part of the circle of life, you know. Ooh, yes, queen. Yes, that's great. We need to be best friends. I love it. I'm sure you figured out, um, if you looked at any of my stuff on the interwebs or any of my profile stuff on here, um, all about mental health, all about mindfulness, big fan, big fucking fan. Oh, yeah, you right, Miley, all the guy, all the mother guy vibes must be affecting your memory. Listen, Miley, suck a butt, clock out of work, go home, go to sleep cease speaking. <laughs> Mother Gaia vibes. <laughs> what a turd face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't encourage him, LR. This little punk. He doesn't deserve your laughter. <sighs> Is it supposed to rain more here today? Or are we done? <laughs> Miley, I love you. Was a fucking banger, keep at it. Hey, LR, fuck up. Thank you, Freight Train. Dude, we call this dog TV. 
because all all the puppos and the kitty cat love to just sit and stare out the windows. Um, oh, I'm sorry, LR, what I was saying was Aw oh, man, all the rain is done. Oh, you wanna call? Sorry. Then you go golf. Actually, it looks like it's gonna be a great day for it, except for the little bit of moisture, probably. I love that you you have habits, JJ, that like, up until Alex got like mad into poker, it was like poker and golf. Like if, if you were to tell me all the things that you do for fun, I'd be like, ah, all right, so this guy is probably 45 to 48. Yeah, we're gonna bet in there. Probably does a lot of snowmobiling in the winter. <laughs> Mm, yeah, it's not looking like it's gonna rain anymore here. Mm. Oh, my frick. Yeah, we're just gonna stretch out like this because my lower back is hurting. This feels great. Oh. <laughs> All right, JJ, my typecasting didn't work. Dude, Exactology, I really love, love our house here. The only problem is, is we are in the suburbs of Chicago, right? So while this house is fantastic, there are some things that I would definitely prefer a little bit different. Like our, our living space, like our living room is the largest space in the house, other than like the basement, that doesn't really count. Um, so like our living room is really nice and big, but the bedrooms are pretty small. The kitchen is a galley kitchen, like it's very small. The bathrooms also pretty small, but the main issue and why we're probably gonna wind up moving out of here, which is a bummer because I love these windows so much, um, for what I do, being an hour outside of the city is kind of a thing. So we're considering either moving closer like into downtown Chicago or moving to the west coast. Oh, that's exciting, JJ. Don't let me forget, freight train. I would love to organize something while the weather is still decent. Like a fall meetup would be rad. All week next. <laughs> that was whack indeed. I don't know what happened. <sighs> the only thing I can imagine is that the PC wanted, or the laptop wanted to update and then just did it. So that was rude. Um, anyway, thanks for waiting. I was really scared to be alone. What are you doing, bitch? Why are you making noises? Yeah, you get to see Capickle now. He's a sweet, sweet little baby. Oh, it was trying to do a fucking Windows update. Windows can suck a butt. story about a shoe. Mm. Oh, this feels so good on my hips. Ugh. So, um, exactology. So you're, you're into psychology. Is that your plan is to continue to like teach that? Do you plan on taking on any other roles, um, in that kind of, in that realm, I suppose? Chody got poop on his shoe the other day? Was it yours? Because <laughs> if so, then this is a story. Now that's a story. I'm gonna 
to put this away because the dogs are going to come in and they're going to absolutely be all about ruining it. That's dope. Your girl dogs? What kind of dogs do you have? too because like when I was growing up I didn't go to college or anything um, but when I was growing up and I was thinking about it I almost went to an automotive school I was looking at like Wyotech and some other spots because I wanted to work on cars preferably at that time I wanted to work on like muscle cars which I mean who doesn't um, but like it's kind of cool you don't I feel like you don't often Though I'm sure there are more of us than we would ever realize. Um, you don't often find many women who you're like, let's talk psychology, okay? We're done with that, now let's talk cars. <laughs> oh. Gotta let the beasties back in. You get to meet Capickle now. Capone is the sweet, sweet boy. Wow, okay, we're just spazzing now. Huh? I'm sharing your bed bud. Oh man, my hips. My hips. have like a thousand names for him. So he goes by Capone, Capoop, Capickle, Pig Pig, LT, Lieutenant LT, Little Tiny. Um, what else? What are some of the other ones? Piggy Tyson, um, um, Wiggles. <laughs> I'm trying to think, there's a lot. You sound like me with the bad hips, oh my God. Are you old and broken like me? I'm not even that old or that broken, which is a sad thing. And part of the reason we're doing yoga in the mornings now. And so get away from there, too close to cords. I used to be in such, such great shape. And then like streaming pretty much came into my life. I've had periods here and there like where I've been smart and like Got my good workouts in, was hitting the gym in the mornings. I was doing yoga for a while, like same thing, doing the videos. And I realized like I needed to find a way to like really hold myself accountable because it is too easy for me to just want to work all day. 
get up in the morning, like get ready for stream, stream, then just like after stream and before stream and between streams, just work, work, work. So I was like, if I start committing to a yoga stream in the morning, I have no fucking choice. I have, I have to be on at a certain time. I have to be up at a certain time. It's gonna force me to go to bed like when I want to. And this is week two of doing it and I love it. Humanity broken. Oh, because I get it. Because I was saying I'm broken. Why does the chat keep fucking up? Dude, Twitch mobile can seriously suck my nuts. Hi, direct threat. You're spry? <laughs> Thanks. You do carpentry work. You know what's interesting? It is a Ninja Turtles mug. I told you when you came in here, we're gonna be best friends. Like, just, just accept my friendship now, okay? Um, yeah, it's actually a gift from my best friend from my birthday years ago. And it's my favorite mug, because it's probably the biggest one I have, other than the Game of Thrones one. Actually, I have a cow one, too. What up, Prozac? Mmm. Isher, the reason I didn't, um, the reason that I didn't do, um, mechanics anymore, I, like, left the auto industry, partially because of sexism, like, that shit was just irritating every day, but also because I wanted to work really hard, get to a point where I could afford to, like, buy and restore my own cars, and I figured if I worked on cars every day for a living, not only would it, like, kind of bust up my body, um, but I probably wouldn't want to do that in my spare time. Yo, that's cool. Who, who from the pizza party? Oh my goodness. Hi, little pickle. You sweet little baby. Did you get a little wet from the trees? Oh, Saints? That's cool. I've known Saint for a while. Oh no, it's, it's, I didn't pick it. It wasn't, um, she wanted, I think, to get me all four of the mugs, like, eventually, <laughs> but she just grabbed the one that they had available, so it's, it's, uh, Raphael, right? Yeah. Yo, fuck yeah, Prozac. That's what's up. A donation-based class? Oh, so they really see the value in it. That's fantastic, dude. Twitch hands down? That's cool. I'm sure that would make him so happy to know that. So wait, exact, where did you, you and Chug say that you're living now? Yeah. I love this space so very much, Direct Threat. If it worked better for my career goals and for like my eventual family goals, we would stay here forever. But it's not looking like that really makes sense for us, so we gotta work hard to create something like this again. Oh, you're in Kansas. Cool. How much longer do you have in school? Let me play you the song of my people, Kapo.
about four-ish years, so a while. I mean, that'll go so fast. I like to go to bed by 10 at the latest, and because of these streams, I'm trying to wake myself up by 5. The problem is that my boyfriend drives Uber, and he sometimes tries to get out of the house, like, mad early. And if his alarm goes off at 4, and I'm planning to get up at 5, my brain is just like, nah bitch, stay in bed until like 10 minutes before you have to start streaming. So that's what I do. My brain like convinces me that I need that extra hour so bad and that I won't be able to like just do that, you know, like the four to five. It's like, no, this isn't gonna be enough. Just reset your alarm, stay in bed longer. But last night I was so tired. Um, we wound up going to sleep at like nine and I was just, Oh, thank you. Thank you, TB. Dude, do you want to hear a story? This is like, this is like what convinced me to say fuck the industry. Well, actually there were two. That's cool. Exotic animal? Dope. It's that extra hour? It fucks with you, right? So, when I was in autos class in high school, um, I was a senior, I was a senior in high school, and they had, I was the only girl in my class, right? And I was there to learn, like, I loved, I loved it, and I was still, like, everyone was always calling me a tomboy, which we don't even need to get into, like, the issues that I think that causes, but, <laughs> yes, you are an angel, you're an angel. Um, so I'm in autos class one day. We had just finished working on stuff, so like we're still kind of all greasy and messed up. And we had a college advisor person come visit us from, we had people that whole day. We had someone from Wyotech, someone from, oh, I can't remember one of the names of the one that's local, like three colleges were represented, right? I was really excited for Wyotech because that was the one I was looking at the most. And, you know, the idea of, like, going to college out of state was something I hadn't quite considered, but a trade school seemed like a good idea. So this dude is at the front of our classroom. It's a class of maybe, like, 25 people. And again, I'm the only girl in there. But, like, I'm just as dirty as the rest of the kids in the class because we had just finished working on stuff. So this instructor dude or this, this advisor guy, recruiter, that's the word I was looking for, he is talking about all the great career opportunities that are available for people who walk and work in the automotive industry. And he starts this little exercise where he starts pointing at people around the room and telling them like different jobs that they might be qualified for after going to the school. So he points at a dude and he's like, you could wind up being a diesel mechanic. You could wind up working on hot rods. You could wind up working on race cars you could wind up and like keeps doing this, like points at all these different people trying to explain that there are so many different jobs within the automotive industry. Then this motherfucker points at me and I shit you not, this fucking guy had the nerve to say, and you, you, with this knowledge you'll have, might not ever have to touch a car again. You can work in an office, be able to wear a nice skirt every day and just help customers. And I was just like, it was like a record scratch moment because I was known for being particularly volatile when I was a teenager and especially in high school I was very aggressive. So like everyone in class is just like ooh, even the teacher was doing one of these and I just like went off on the dude like are you fucking kidding me? Did you really just fucking say that to me? Do you not see me here looking the exact same as the rest of the people in the class? I was just working on shit a second ago and you're trying to tell me because I'm a woman that I have an exciting future wearing a fucking skirt sitting behind a desk? Suck my dick. Yeah, he legitimately said that to me. Morning entwined. That's really cool, direct threat. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, 
So this motherfucker actually said that to me. I, I went off on him, I said a lot of things, and my teacher wound up having to ask me to leave the room, but he didn't tell me to go to the principal or anything, or the dean. He was just like, I, I think you gotta get out of here, and I was like, I think I fucking do too, and I just laughed for the day. Like, fuck this day. Nice, it's when I get that rest. There's so many things you could do. There was another time where, which like kind of solidified my decision that that getting 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 into the automotive industry was going to be more of a hassle than it was worth. Um, when I tried to apply at a local parts store, it was like automotive parts delivered. You know, like they delivered to various other like auto zone type places. And one of my friends had just gotten a job there. Two of my friends, actually, two of my guy friends, of course, had just gotten jobs there and like knew nothing, nothing about cars, which was not even a requirement for the job. Like they just needed to have a driver's license and be able to pick parts pretty much. So these two motherfuckers get jobs. The place is still hiring. I go in there and like apply thinking this is dope because I'm actually like knowledgeable on this because I've just taken several years of like small engine repair and automotive classes and electronics and all this shit. So I was like, I'm ready for this. This is great. They're going to see me and be like, cool, someone who actually has knowledge on stuff, not just like can pick part numbers. I legitimately got laughed out of this fucking place. Went in there, tried to apply, and they were like, you want to work here? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, I don't think you want to work here. I'm like, but I do though, and I actually like, I, I know a decent amount, like I'm excited to be able to work in the industry, I'm trying to learn as much as I can, and I forget what stupid offhanded remark they made, but two fucking portly fellows decided to just start like full belly laughing at me, and I was just like, walked out the door, man fuck you. Yeah, I feel you entwined. For real, Prozac. Exactly, Abe, exactly. And that's one of the things that's frustrating, right? Is like, I, so I have worked in male-dominated industries, including the fucking one I'm in now, for almost my entire life. I sold cars for a while. I sold motorcycles for a while, like Harleys. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other jobs that I've had that, like, oh, even my corporate jobs. Like, always a total boys club. And in order for me to like progress, it always required me to just bite my tongue or learn how to be like just one of the guys, you know? I had to be a lot like okay with them constantly making irritating jokes, commenting on my age, commenting on my body. Because the other alternative is like find new jobs, report them, find new jobs. It was just ugh. I know, it was really frustrating, but that was when I was like, you know what, fuck this. I don't want to work on cars anymore, I'm tired of these fucking idiots. Honestly, direct threat, despite all of my examples in my life of people being terrible, I fully, I love people, man. I got a lot of love for everyone in the world, including those portly fellows that pissed me off. I got no beef with anyone. Everyone's fighting their own battles, and I think, largely, there are so many kind people in the world. Wow, TB. That's frustrating. Hey, Dirty Doorknob. Do you like my song, Capone? this annoying that I'm playing with this? Because it is like way too fun. Y'all need one. Oh, Capone. Oh, Capone. You are so cute. Oh, crap, it's stuck again. 42, have a great day. With 
a six year relationship job? Brick? This freaking brick? Oh, there we go. Military contract. Yeah, for real, Prozac. It's a, um, kalimba. Exactology. It was great getting to talk to you today. Keep on being a boss, bitch. I love it. Yeah, Prozac. We've talked about that kind of often because I was referred to as a tomboy so much growing up that it, like, really, like, it took years and years after, um, of like kind of like self-awareness and self-reflection for me to realize that being called a tomboy for so long made me feel terrible. <laughs> it made me feel good that like I could hang out with my guy friends, but it made me feel bad because I thought it meant that the only reason I was able to hang out with them is because like no one was attracted to me because I was just a dude, you know, like I'm an unattractive woman, therefore I'm a tomboy because I like the same stuff they like. I'm allowed to hang out, but like, no guys are going to find me interesting or attractive, so it is what it is. so frustrating, right, TV? That's why, honestly, like, it's, it's such a beautiful thing now that people are starting to wake up to, like, how silly gender norms are, and, like, man, it's, it's nice to feel more comfortable again, because, like, while I was feeling like the only way to relate to some of my guy friends was to be like continue to be a tomboy, there was always that fear that like if I dressed up too much I would lose all credibility, right? Like if I became too girly, then suddenly they lose all respect for me. And it's sadly, in some cases, it's the truth, but it's not something I give a shit about anymore. So for the first time in my life I actually feel really comfortable wearing dresses and wearing whatever I would normally wear, you know? Oh shit, it is, Ellie. Yo, what up, beef? Yeah, that's nice, Chodenheim. So do most people call you Chody? Oh wait! Chodenheim, you need to do exclamation point rate my chode. <laughs> all, all one word. Oh, I hope the bot is on. It should be. Bot is on. Damn it. Uh, Alright, hold on. We gotta correct this because this is too too funny. Stay, puppies. Stay. I'm coming right back. again. Don't worry, Piggy. I told you I was coming back. Mm. Valley! Hi! Oh, that's interesting, TB. That's, yeah, that's super lame. <laughs> Chody's got a 3 out of 10 chode. Wow. Sorry, I didn't mean to spook you, little baby. 
my sweet, sweet little baby. It's so fun, you definitely want one TV. My bot is broken, I'm sorry. No, because see, the better chode is like an especially chody chode. So if you have a 10 out of 10 chode, it means, you know, you got, you got just a little stacker. Like fully, fully chody. So it, yeah, 10 out of 10 chode, it's a, it's a good chode. A 1 out of 10 showed. Too skinny, my friend. I'm sorry. Oh my god, no, and I'm not ready for it, Ellie. What was it? There was something that happened this morning where I was thinking in like, in just moments, I was like, ooh. Oh, it was the fucking picture you sent me. I was ready to get emotional over that. I could not handle something that makes you cry. Hey, I love you. Hey, I love you. I mean, yeah, of course, it's so cool. Ellie drew a picture of us, baby. Among the sleep? What that is? You kept singing that song the whole morning until you realized where it came from? Aww. What are you doing? This is the most snuggly pig you've ever seen. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. <laughs> I just love him so much. He gets babied. You need a dog? Oh my god, with all the animals you have already? Are you ready for that? Did you think you heard your dad? Did you think you heard your dad? You do need a dog, but wow, <laughs> it's gonna be a pain in the dick. You're a sweet, sweet angel baby. What a sweet, sweet angel baby. Go do work and things. Chodenheim, great getting to know you, Chody. Tell Lupo I said clickety-clack, motherfucker. Exactly that, for real. 
Thank you, Jody. I hit my resub in there yesterday, but I didn't have time to stay and chat and stuff. Do you want to come closer to me? Come here. Come here. That's my little bud. Oh, that's really cute. Boo is in the other room probably sleeping with money right now. Capone is just happy, like it doesn't matter where he is, he's happy if he's touching a person. Right little baby? God, I gotta take a picture of this. His little face just looks so content. sweet that he tries. Dude, I'm so glad that all of our animals, I mean, we don't have enough animals, I think, to say all of our animals the way you do in Twine, but I love that Capone, Boo, um, and Enzo can all snuggle up together and just love each other. Yeah, direct threat, and join us in the Discord. We are doing a book club right now, too. If you want to join us in that, we just started reading a book together. just too adorable. He really can't help himself. I'll show a picture of what my view is in the gallery right now on Discord because it's real heckin' cute. Yeah. Look at his little puppy smile. He's just like content. Puppy yoga, yep. Hi, Menagerie. Does that feel good? He's not a super waggy dog, if you haven't noticed, so when he wags, you know it's real good stuff. It's real good stuff. <laughs> His little pendulum tail, it kills me. my coffee for potential drool. I fucking love Liz also. Enzo would not snuggle in that manner, but he would certainly snuggle. He would certainly snuggle. 
I love you too. You're a very sweet boy. <laughs> She's such a great person. I really, yeah, Liz is the shit. Don't lick the carpet. That's weird. I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna finish it. And then we're gonna go about our day. Everyone's just a good boy. Hmm. Ooh, are we gonna meditate together today, friends? Who wants to uh, have some have some silence together before we wrap this up today? Hmm. monster. Do you know this beautiful boy broke my nose? Just straight fractured across the bridge. That shit hurts so bad. <gasps> yes! Good, Ellie! Oh, that makes me so happy. You're ready? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish my coffee. So, you know, prepare yourself to, <laughs> to relax. And we're going to do a meditation then before we shut down today. Is five minutes doable for everyone? Chris, thank you again for a year. Ellie, are you going to join us in that book club? Because that would be wonderful, especially since, like, now that you've found that you can do it, this book is going to open up all kinds of other ways that you can do it and use it as a tool, use it for walking meditation, use it for self-compassion meditations. I would... Love, love, love if you would join us in reading this. And before you say anything, because I know things are tight, if you can't, I would love to buy the book for you so that you can join us. You'll get it and hop in? <gasps> Ellie, oh my god, I can't wait to have conversations with you about this. You are so intelligent and insightful, and because like I can kind of obviously relate to how you've been feeling versus how you're feeling now and how you're going to feel in the future, this is going to be a great discussion piece for us. And there are some really practical aspects of it that have nothing to do with meditation, really. Um, but there's like the RAIN method, which is so nice recognize, accept, investigate, non-identify, like there's, there's a lot of little tidbits in that book where you're like, oh shit, neuroscience me daddy, yes. Yes, Ellie, I would love that. I'm trying to finish my um, coffee before we do it too. Bungles, if she can't make it to the stream, like feel free to introduce us 
through Discord, through uh, email even, through Instagram, like Twitter, whatever the fuck. I'm always happy to talk to people, especially about trying to get them more interested in mindfulness. So if Twitch isn't her shit, like I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. Does enjoying the weather while you smoke count? It counts as you enjoying the weather while you smoke. You can certainly turn lots of things into a meditation, but it requires a certain type of focus and mindset going in. So if you're going for a walk, if you're outside, if, you know what's funny is um, present smoking, like being fully invested in the experience of smoking cigarettes has been shown to be pretty effective in helping with smoking cessation. Cause like you, a lot of people at least, like I, I smoked cigarettes for years, I quit 11 years ago, but most people do it for what they get out of it. Like they feel a little bit calmer, a little more relaxed, it helps with nerves, whatever. And what happens when you start being more mindful and you start smoking mindfully, you notice that the flavors, the smells, and the way that it feels in your body is very yucky. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, Juland. Good, we're gonna be meditating shortly. If you can join us, even if you're at work at your desk, just sit in silence for a few minutes. Oh, I'm so glad that Ellie's gonna read this book with us. Anyone else, like, please join us in this book club. We just started, it's very no pressure. You have from yesterday until Sunday to read the first chapter, and if you get it on Audible, it's less than an hour of listening. So you read the first chapter, pop into Discord with any notes, anything that stands out to you, and then we're gonna take some of the information that we learned from it to do our meditations using some of the tips and tricks for a week after. Did you just toot? Did you just toot? Um, we're gonna do some of the meditation tips for a week after, and then read chapter two. Okay, Jublan. Yeah, I don't think yoga is as easy, right? I heard your little butt make noise. I heard it. Hey, don't do that to your ear. It makes it worse. Don't do that to your ear. Not seeing yourself quitting? I mean, if you don't want to quit, don't quit. I'm just saying. It's one of those things that's, um... It was interesting to read that and hear that. Your brother's here as well, just not logged in. Does your brother go on Twitch? Yikes. Yeah, there was. there's a lot of smokers in my family, TV. Um, I actually, it's kind of wild and, like, sad. Um, I, I'm, I'm no longer religious, and I really wasn't too, too religious growing up. Um, but... I had a pastor once that was never condescending, like never talked down to me, and didn't get really preachy when he would like teach me stuff. He always came from a point, he was like more of a historian than anything, almost like a historian and philosopher. But he was such a wonderful man, and I learned so much from, from him. When I attempted suicide, he was one of the first people at the hospital there with me. Like this man, he was like, like a second dad or grandpa or something. and after my sister died, it was her funeral, um, or the, the day of her funeral, I went outside and I smoked a cigarette, my final cigarette, with my pastor at the time, and was like, this is my last one, I'm quitting. So I smoked my last cigarette with him, and then I wound up throwing away the pack and being done, so I haven't smoked since then. Um, but it was, it's weird that it's such a positive memory, but at the same time, it's a bummer because my pastor wound up dying from lung cancer years later. Yeah, it's a big part of the reason why we talk about mental health and mindfulness so much, Isher. Um, I attempted suicide when I was 15, and even though after my suicide attempt and subsequent hospitalization, I wasn't really committed to enjoying my life, I was committed to like staying in it. So I basically said, like, I'm not gonna self-harm anymore. I'm not gonna attempt to take my life again. Um, like, I'm committed to being a part of this world, but I fucking hated it. 
all the way up until literally last year, I was just miserable for like my entire life. Yes, Julant. And I started scuba diving and doing jujitsu not too long after quitting smoking, and I was very grateful. But yeah, like the way that you feel feel when you wake up in the morning and you're not like, you know, or like go for a run and not be all, it feels great. Scuba diving, getting all like, like kind of out of breath, like dragging stuff into lake dives, doing like kind of um, like more high intensity swimming during currents and stuff and not cruising through my oxygen. Mm. There were so many times where I would surface and be like, wow, I'm so glad I quit smoking years ago because I could tell this would have been brutal. Okay, you gotta leave your ears alone. You miss running? People and PTSD happened and that's why you couldn't keep going with your smoke quitting? Okay, big pig, pig, time to relax. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry, TB. If I can help at all, please let me know. Um, I, I wrote something called The Five Steps to Better Mental Health, and it's literally everything that I researched and did for myself when I wanted to feel better, because I was just sick and tired of feeling like shit all the time and being angry and miserable. Um, so like quite literally last January was when I started meditation and then kind of worked my way into lots of other forms of mindfulness and wound up feeling better, shockingly. So I'm actually happy now for the first time in almost my entire life. I sleep at night after having years and years of really bad insomnia. I can't tell you the last time I had a panic attack. I can't tell you the last time I felt really, really angry, which was like my default mode. It's wild. This stuff really helps. Oh, that's a bummer, Chaos. Okay, friends, we're gonna meditate. Who's gonna join me for a quick five minute meditation? Right now, like I felt before, bangering? Friend, I'm here for you. <laughs> Hi, and so is Pig Pig here. Um, there, there is a lot, even if you have a chemical imbalance, even if you have some things that seem like they are stacked against you, there is a lot of control we have over our bodies and minds and a good routine that prioritizes both will really change the game for you. Hey, you stop that. You stop that. Shh. Puppy, you be quiet. Shh. No. Whatever your boyfriend has. It's a big no. No. You sound like a cow. What are you boyfriend at? Can you not do that, please? We're gonna meditate and you're a loud boy. Okay, who's meditating with us? I gotta do this because I'm gonna have to shut down relatively soon so that I can go about my day and get a bunch of work done. Oh, that's your brother? Cool! Bangarang, new friend! Oh, wow. That's so nice! Hi, Bangarang, even more excited to meet you now. What up, gang bang? How you doing? Okay, okay. We're gonna meditate for five minutes. Hush. Enough. So if you haven't meditated before and you'd like to give this a try, you can do this even if you're sitting at your desk at work. It's a very simple form of meditation considered mindfulness meditation. Sit comfortably. If you can sit with your legs crossed, cool. <laughs> what are you doing? If you want to sit with your like feet on the, on the floor, also fine. You want to be able to sit with a semi-alert posture, right? So if you notice like my back is mostly straight, I'm not like trying to be like shoulders back kind of straight or anything. Um, but sit up a little bit straighter because you don't want to be signaling to your body that this is shutdown time. While meditation can be relaxing, that's not necessarily the only goal here. 
what we're trying to do is really establish a little bit of space between us and our thoughts so that we can see that not only do they not come from us, but we don't always have to associate with or identify with our thoughts. So we are just going to chill, chill. I'm looking to see the stuff. Oh, dang it. This stupid chat. Driving me crazy. And I realize that the chat is getting cut off on the screen, and that is also lame. Dude, Twitch Mobile can seriously suck a butt. I know, buddy, you need to just relax. Stop. Ugh. All right, hold on, I gotta try and... Because do you want, I saw that you were saying something, I saw other people saying stuff, but it's not showing for me, so I need to restart my whole thing. Twitch Mobile is super, super butts. Stop using this to rub your ear, buddy, that's making it worse. I want to make sure I'm not, like, glazing over stuff that's important or helpful for you, you know? He needs more pets, he looks sad. Yeah, poor guy. Hi, Anxious Panda. Okay, so if I missed anything you said, Anxious Panda's message saying hello, is the first thing I've seen in my chat in a hot second. Stuff was broken. Okay, you, we're meditating, bud, so you need to relax. Lay down, lay down. No, don't, don't sit on your brother this time. This is not playtime. Enzo? Hey, lay down. Enzo? Hey, 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 pay attention, lay down. He is like obsessed with sniffing his freaking brother's everything lately. Get out of his butt. Lay down. Go to your spot. Enzo. Come on. Spot. Good. Get up there. Come on. Relax. Between you two and Twitch, fucking up. Okay. Anyway, so we're doing mindful meditation. There are many different forms. This is the one we're doing today. The goal is to basically be doing little exercise reps for your mind. So you're building the skill of focus here as you close your eyes and start to focus on one thing, whether it's the music, your breathing, and so slobbing on his knob birds chirping, refrigerator humming, whatever your touch point is, whatever you're choosing to bring your focus to, your goal is, as your mind wanders, for you to recognize it and then kindly and lovingly bring your focus back to whatever that one thing is. So instead of kind of shaming yourself and thinking like, damn it, I was, my mind was wandering again, you have to recognize that that is something that just happens to all of us. Be kind to yourself and bring it back with love. Because if you're mean to yourself, and you kind of are beating yourself up internally every time your mind wanders, your mind doesn't like getting yelled at. It's not going to help you find those moments where it's wandering anymore. It's going to avoid that. It's going to kind of dig deeper into the full mind wandering and not be like, hey, let's remember that we wanted to focus on our breath or whatever. Um, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Loving kindness, compassion is like very important for a part of this. As you notice your mind wandering, bring it back to your focus, and that's it. For me, I focus on the words breathe in as I'm breathing in, and the words breathe out as I'm breathing out. For me, that works very well. Um, like I said, you can focus on the music, you can focus on whatever it is that pulls you away from those thoughts. The first time you do it, the first 20, 20 million times you do it, your mind may be wandering the entire time. You may never recognize that it's wandering and bring it back to the breath, and that's okay. It is still a great skill to be building. It's still the skill of focus. You're calming your body. It's great. So 
I'm going to set a timer on my watch and we're just going to sit here in silence for five minutes. Again, your goal is just to recognize when your mind is wandering and bring it back to whatever your focus point is. And that's it. We're going to start the meditation with three deep breaths and then we're going to finish the meditation with a nice deep breath. And that's it. And this is a great skill. If you practice this every day, it can really change your life, especially my friends that are battling anxiety, um, learning to control your breathing and your thoughts is insanely powerful because anxiety tends to come from those negative what ifs that start to catastrophize quickly and then suddenly you're thinking about stuff that is so illogical but you can't stop that feeling of like my chest is caving in everything is the worst right anyway let us get started get comfortable again sit relatively alert your body is going to naturally kind of sink into the position as you get into your meditation but try not to slump back in your chair, try not to be laying on the floor unless you know that you're not going to fall asleep because the goal is definitely not to relax you and lull you into sleep right now. It is, if anything, this can kind of wake, it, wake up your brain a little bit. Okay, five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and get the timer ready. All right, so three deep breaths, breathe in as deep as you can, hold it, let it out nice and slowly, okay? Start with one. If anyone is in chat right now and they're not going to be meditating with us, if people come in and say hi and they're wondering why I'm sitting here with my eyes closed, if you could let them know, I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, everyone else, close your eyes and I will let you know when we're done with this. We're going to start five minutes of meditation right now. Where your hands go doesn't really matter. Go wherever you're comfortable. That could be on your knees, be face up. Mine tend to go together in my lap.
cabinets already. Open your eyes. Take a deep breath. Mm, and just smile. Even if you have to force it for a second, just throw a smile on that face. There's a lot to be grateful for. Good morning, Tech. Good morning, too. What's fun about this, especially is like the puppies were kind of being a little bit obnoxious during this, but a lot of people get frustrated when they're meditating because they don't have a quiet home. You know, parents with kids, people with younger siblings, whatever. And people believe that the only way to meditate is to be in like complete silence. And that's just, it's not the case. Um, you're building the skill of focus. So why not be able to challenge yourself a little bit in moments where it might not be as easy, you know? You kept grinning at his whining, same. It genuinely, when I hear the puppies as I'm meditating, it usually brings a smile to my face. Like, look at you silly boys. Dogs are legit humans, they're weird. So anyone who joined us, how do you feel? Did you like it? Do you do that often? It was very nice. Good, Lost Souls. Good. I'm covered in dog hair from the babies now. All right, Enzo, you can get up if you want a coffee rumble. My coffee's put away. You can get up. Go get your brother. Go get him. Go get him. Go ahead. Puppy rumble! Oh, that's fantastic, Menagerie. Menagerie, well, right back at you, Entombed. I mean, we all could use some practice on this either way, right? Like, it's, it's a wonderful skill to be building. Thank you, Bang Ring. Thank you. Um, it's part of the reason why I started reading that book, too. Um, the one that we're reading for book club now. Because, hey, what up, Marsh? That dog is a man. <laughs> um, I love meditation. Like, I connected to it right away. But I picked up that book, Meditation for Fidgety Skeptics. Get him because I wanted to find new ways to explain how it works to people, and I wanted to learn more about the practice myself, because mindfulness meditation versus a lot of different types, it's very different. So now that I've been meditating for over a year and a half, I'm just blown away by how much I've learned from it, and like the biggest part of it being that I am not my thoughts. My thoughts are thinking themselves, because me, like the conscious me, I have chosen to focus on my breath or whatever, and these thoughts keep popping up like popcorn. If I didn't put them there, why am I choosing to associate with them, you know? Kind of learning how your thoughts come to be makes me feel so much more comfortable. And as my meditation practice has grown, it's been great to be more mindful throughout my day. And I notice these thoughts usually, like we all have bad days, usually before they are able to impact me. So I can have anxious thoughts and not be anxious. I can have angry thoughts but not be angry. If I notice a particular type of thought process coming up a lot, I can. it's actionable now. I have something I can do with it. If I notice a lot of anxious thoughts, I'll meditate, I'll put on calm music, I'll take some deep breaths, whatever. If I notice angry thoughts, kind of the same thing. I use affirmations then, it gives you a lot more opportunity to redirect and change how you react instead of having angry thoughts and becoming angry right away, you know? Yeah, I told him that we're done. I gave Enzo permission to puppy battle. You get him, Capone, you get him. You keep him on the ground. Chew his little face off. Chew his little face off. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, breathing is not the right focus point for a lot of people. So I'm especially excited now for you to get into this meditation book with me because there's so many alternatives that fall within the mindfulness meditation thing. Oh, I like that bangering.
Was that fun? Was that all you needed? Eat his brains! I hope you have a wonderful day today, Lost Souls. Don't lick his ears. Don't lick him. That makes his skin worse. No. Hey. You're gonna buy the book then? Damn, I gotta fix this fucking shit now. Now that my, for whatever reason, my scene here is blocking the chat, it makes it really hard. Ugh, oh, to catch up. Sit. You. Sit. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Humanity is so crazy, it is. Okay, I gotta go. I have work to do today. This has been a wonderful morning stream. I'm gonna immediately, once I shut this down, I'm gonna go in my office, highlight it, and rebroadcast so that y'all can follow along again if you want to. <laughs> Don't look your brother. I mean, that's, that's how he do things. What up, Bash? Um, y'all are amazing. Thank you for a wonderful morning. Don't forget, follow me everywhere. Mind of Snaps is all of my social media. That's the podcast. That's my YouTube channel. It's all my shit. Patreon is patreon.com slash she snaps, but everything else is Mind of Snaps. Follow, be my friend, join us in the Discord, join us in the book club. We're going to learn a ton, and it's going to be fantastic. Um, I adore you. You deserve great things. Be nice to yourself today, and I will see you at 2 o'clock Central Time for the rest of normal stream. We're going to play some video games and stuff. Um, yeah, I heckin' love ya. I heckin' love ya. Have a great day, friends. Beep.